Today, I'm listening to Nightwish, Nemo, with their original singer, Tarya. Keep watching. Hi, everybody. It's Christy Bovey with The Voice Love Company. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell below so you don't miss a single video or when I go live. I'm now booking for my fall 2020 voice semester. Click on the link below to get your best date and time, and I will see you online for your next voice lesson. Details are in the description box below. Now let's get started. I'm trying to be as thorough as possible. Many of you Nightwish fans have encouraged me that I really actually need to listen to the original singer for this song, Taria. I really am looking forward to listening to her rendition of Nemo with the band Nightwish. Let's dig in. <laughs> Siinä on toi kaveri, kun kirjoitti viisi Griffi, koko viisi. Herra Tuomas Halopainen! Okay, so I'm gonna stop before she starts singing. Can I just say how much I have enjoyed getting to know this band? And it's really fun now to actually know this song a little bit, to have heard it all these different ways, and now with a brand new singer. This is from the End of an Era DVD, which I believe is the same concert that the Phantom of the Opera song is from. I'll put a card up here. That was my first opportunity to actually hear her sing and I uh, really was impressed with her. Okay, so I can't wait to hear her sing. Let's do this. Here we go. Okay, good. I messed up it right there. Interesting. It's really interesting to hear her take on it as opposed to Floor. Different tone qualities completely. I feel like Tarya has a much richer, deeper, fuller expression vocally than what Floor was using. Nobody's better. It's just different. It almost seems a little easier for Tarya, the execution of the singing itself. I'm not sure if that's the case because of the, the richness that she's able to pull out, the timbre of her, her tone. It just seems a little more relaxed. So, yeah, very cool. Okay, let's keep going. A flower with it between the pages two and three. I feel like Taria definitely approaches the music more from a classically trained vocalist 
perspective. I realize Floor has classical training as well. Classical training looks different depending on where you've studied, depending on what kind of voice you have, depending on what kind of teacher you might have had. I feel like Floor's uh, approach is much more contemporary. Taria has a more classical approach. I really like it. I think it adds a lot. She does have some balance in her chest register that, that I'm not hearing so much in Floor's. This is not a right or wrong. This is just a, a where your voice is at. Yeah, there's just more vibrato. She uses a lot more of that ooh, oh, that kind of round, vibratious, classical foundation. So there's a ton of chest register in what she's doing in the timbre and the flow of what she's, she's creating here. What's really fun to listen to all three of these versions of Nemo is the metamorphosis of the band itself and kind of how the music has grown, how it's changed, how it's shifted. I really like this arrangement a lot. I actually think this may be one that I like the best of all the three. Just as an innocent bystander coming alongside you, I think this may be my favorite. Okay, good. I gotta stop. So sorry. It's really fun to see them younger and continuing to just enjoy making music, enjoy each other's company. They're just so entertaining, aren't they? They're so much fun to watch. So incredibly talented. <laughs> what fun. Okay, so let's deconstruct this one just a little bit more. So I think one of the main differences between Floor's production of sound for this song and Taria's production of sound Floors tends to sing with more straight tone. There tends to be more of a contemporary placement. Whereas Taria is full on classical placement the entire way. She is a classical singer singing symphonic metal. Floor can sing 
anything. And I think that's why she definitely has the classical ability. You can hear it, like on Shoemaker, for instance. <laughs> matter of who who did it better who did it worse it's, it's just so different they're both so different they're approaching it incredibly differently and that's not bad a flower with it between the pages two and three Another big thing that you can see that's a difference is how they are forming their words. Tarya is very covered. Her vowels are dark. Once Laura's vowels are bright. She's smiling into it. You can see the difference that that makes. You can hear the difference that it makes in each of their sounds. So because she's coming at this with a much more dark vowel round placement, she's going to have that Nemo, whereas Floor is coming at Nemo. It's just a different space altogether. Oh, how I wish! Oh, how I wish! You're going to have a different tone quality with each of those ways of singing. And it's not a bad thing. You can be a singer who does all of it. You really can. If you know how to work your registers and balance your voice. So... Yeah, that's my two cents. Without a doubt, Taria is a beautiful vocalist, and you know how I feel about Floor. I am really incredibly impressed by Nightwish as a band, by this song, and by all of these different versions that you've encouraged me to listen to. It's been such an honor to get to do this. me today. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and don't forget to share with someone you know loves Nightwish. You can ask me any question about your voice in the comments down below, on my blog at voicelove.co, on Instagram at the Voice Love Company, and now on wizio.com. Get all those details in the description box below. One thing is for sure, Taria and Floor each put their own unique spin on this song. And one thing I love about being a voice teaching professional is the fact that every human voice is unique to the human who possesses it. Keep finding your voice. Keep making your sound in the world today. The world is waiting for what you bring. And remember, you are loved. Bye, guys. <laughs>